A self-confessed Chinese spy who bravely outed himself on 60 Minutes last week has made news headlines around the world. Wang William Le Chang has also come under fierce attack from high-ranking Chinese government officials who dismiss him as a convicted fugitive. But the Australian government is taking the allegations aired in Nick McKenzie's investigation very seriously. Wang William Le Chang is the first Chinese spy to ever publicly blow his cover in Australia. He's exposed secrets about China's interference operations around the world. But in exchange, he desperately wants Australia's protection. What would happen to you if you went back to China? Imagine the consequence of a spy betraying the organisation. I know very well that the Chinese Communist Party can never be trusted. Once I go back, I will be dead. Wang's extraordinary interview with Nick McKenzie created news around the world. A self-confessed Chinese spy in Australia says that he's offered a trove of intelligence information. The allegations are shocking. As expected, his claims incensed the Chinese Communist Party, which accused Wang of being a convicted fraud and wanted fugitive. They say this video is him facing court in 2016. But Wang says that's a lie and it's not him. The Australian government's response to Wang's story has been revealing. These matters were already under investigation. And in an extraordinary move, Australia's National Security Agency issued a statement saying the 60 Minutes report contained allegations ASIO takes seriously. It went on to say the agency was previously aware of matters that have been reported and has been actively investigating them. Well, the fact that ASIO has made a very rare statement today uh, adds to the seriousness of these allegations. It seems Taiwanese authorities are taking Wang's allegations seriously too. Is it right what you're saying, your job was to meddle in Taiwan's upcoming presidential election secretly for the Chinese government? Yes, that's why I needed to change my name and not use my true identity. Was your ultimate aim to make sure the current president of Taiwan was not elected? Yes. Taiwan was the most important work of ours. The infiltration into media, temples and grassroots organisations. This week, Taiwanese media reported police had detained the man Wang identified as his boss and a high-ranking military official for China. It's believed Xiang Xin and his wife were intercepted at the airport as they tried to leave Taiwan for Hong Kong. They were questioned on suspicion of violating the National Security Act. But in Australia, revelations of another alleged Chinese plot, a plan to infiltrate our federal parliament, caused a storm. Uh, it was surreal. It was like something out of a spy novel um, happening in Melbourne with impunity and uh, very, very concerning. As we reported, Liberal Party member Nick Zhao was allegedly offered $1 million to run as a candidate at the federal election. The 32-year-old is now dead. I find the allegations deeply disturbing and troubling. The boss of ASIO confirmed his agency was aware of these claims and warned hostile foreign intelligence activity continues to pose a real threat to our nation and its security. This is not the last we'll be hearing about attempted Chinese influence in Australian affairs. 
We'll keep you up to date on developments, including how Wang Lechang fares in his attempt to be given safe refuge here. Hello, I'm Sarah Arbo. Thanks for watching. To keep up with the latest from 60 Minutes Australia, make sure you subscribe to our channel. You can also download the Nine Now app for full episodes and other exclusive 60 Minutes content.